The opposition leader also criticized the government for concerns raised by taxi drivers this morning, his comments prompting a quick response from government House members. The government of the Bahamas would have lifted the taxi moratorium in the family islands, as I would have spoken to that issue when the member, I believe it may have been the member for Engliston who raised it in this place when I was minister. And I put it on the record, Mr. Speaker, that we did that. Okay? And the country knew it, and so did the Taxi Cab Union. And we addressed their matters in regards to taxis in the family islands. We also indicated and intimated to them that the government was going to also seek to move to lift the moratorium in New Providence, that we were in the process of doing that, Mr. Speaker. And then COVID came along. COVID came along, Mr. Speaker, that caused us to have a pause, a national pause, as we have done in regards to many sectors of our economy, Mr. Speaker. If the House goes and produces the agenda for just before the dissolution of Parliament when, when, the, right, when the Right Honourable Perry Christie lost his seat, there was over 200 questions or 100 and something questions on the agenda that they hadn't answered for years.